Sweet Army. It's me, Tara. Greenland trailer with Gerard Butler just came out. Watch it together because I know that's what you guys want. You don't even like to hear me talk. You don't like to hear me say things. You're like, just watch stuff and then maybe talk about it after. That's all we want from you. I swear I'm going to get my family into that bunker. Is this Clark, this uh, know, interstellar right? comet? Right? I mean, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's... big news. I don't see Clark. Oh, maybe he's still sleeping. Dad. <laughs> Some of Clark's larger fragments are now expected to enter our atmosphere. That's right. I know that you're just... What are they saying? The More of the same. Well, I bet you it's going to make a heck of a show. Blow up the comment. Well, the first time about to hit. Only part of it. Let's go in the ocean. Two. Would you look at that? One. Wait, where's the explosion? We now are getting word that the fragment has hit Central Florida. Oh my God. Wait, are some more pieces gonna hit? Come on, let's go. But the sky's on fire. Two days. They got it all wrong. There's a ton of fragments. Planet killers. Space agencies are predicting an extinction level event. We're gonna be together, all right, kiddo? We're just trying to get to safety. They've been tracking the military flights to bunkers in Greenland. It's their only chance. Him. It's okay. Clark's largest fragment will hit in less than 24 hours. I swear I'm gonna get my family into that bunker. I know you will, sir. If you are hearing this broadcast, seek shelter immediately. What is it? What's going on? If you are hearing this broadcast, seek shelter oh, John, go! Seek shelter immediately. Seek shelter immediately. PG-13! I was really hoping it was gonna be R-rated. This is a lot like War of the Worlds. But one thing I don't think they'll have is cool, practical stuff. Like, in War of the Worlds, that whole plane that was blown up and torn apart and in the middle of the town was real. Because that's how Spielberg rolls. I hope they have practical stuff in this. I tell you, the next time I hear any more than five jets flying over my house, I'm gonna layer up 20 layers. I'm gonna go to the closest store. I'm gonna find the freezer and that, that, my friends, is gonna be my bunker. Nobody else will wanna go in there because they're gonna be like, it's freezing, it's so cold in here. And I'm like, I would came prepared. I'll bring a little lighter just to like, you know, defrost the fish. It'll take a while, but I mean, at least I'll be eating, you know? I might get used to just eating raw, raw stuff, you know, cold stuff. <sighs> Talking about it now though makes my teeth hurt, but you know what, hey, I'm alive in the freezer and everybody else is who knows? When a lot of birds are released into the air and they all start flying the same way, it's normally, it's bad news, it's ominous, it's not so good, but people are like, get me a bunch of birds, let's release them at our wedding. I'm kind of like, no, maybe that should stop. No birds. You know, don't, no birds at all. You know when you're in the aisle in a grocery store and you gotta go that way, but you gotta pass a person first and they just, whoo, they crop dust it? That's what this feels like. Except you can't go back. I, I mean the beans, and they're they're right there, you know. So you just you gotta just charge on. Who is it hard? My family in that bunker. I know you will, sir. And his dad's just like so chill. He's like, what is? Where's he going? Does he have a secret bunker in there that's like only made for one person, or is he like, I'm gonna let the comet take me? 
You either die running or you just succumb to the comet, right? Okay, so it looks like they kind of escape with their truck. And then uh, there's a scene where it looks like they went into a little tiny plane, tried to fly away. I would be like, hey, real quick, I'm not going to go on a plane because the stuff that's happening is in the air. Comets, they come from up there and you want to take me up there, closer to them. Is that what you, that's what you're saying, right? Yeah, no, I'm out. I don't know why I married you and you're suggesting we take a plane. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. We're not gonna, I'm not gonna, I wouldn't take the plane. No way would I take the plane. I'd say, you know, just let the comments have at it, right? I can't. And then if I did find a bunker, I guess I would just start trying to write songs of like, we're being leveled by a comet. The comet has leveled us. Is it good? Is it bad? Are we meant to be here? Now here we are and I'm stuck in a freezer eating fish. But if you add a beat to that, you know, like, and then I'm stuck in, in the freezer eating fish. It's better because I know that it didn't rhyme. Get out and fight after I eat this fish. See, I got a second verse already. Maybe that's even the chorus. The record would go gold so quick. Boy, oh boy, I guess I need a comment to hit, huh? Level everybody out before I can be the good one around. Yeah. That's it, Idiot Army. I love you guys so much, and I will see you on the next one.